Hello, hello dear viewers, welcome to our channel, it's very good to have you here. In today's video, we are going to have a look at how to construct hazard wiring signal and a turn signal. We will be demonstrating by using this combination switch. Here we have the turn signal switch. This is the turn signal switch. This is turn left and turn right. And also here, right here, we have a hazard switch. Here we have the hazard switch. When you look at the lower side, these green wires, they belong to the hazard and the turn signal. Now, in order to identify the terminals, first, let's mark these lines. Let's identify, put them on a paper, and then by using the different switch positions and hazard switch positions, then we can identify which wire belongs to which line. So we have multiple lines, lines coming from the battery, line coming from the ignition switch, line coming from the flasher, and line going to the left and right turn signal lights. So in order to identify that, first let's use the color code and uh, prepare a chart. It's always a good idea to prepare a chart so that you can identify the different wires. Now in order to identify, there are six lines here. Let's draw them color by color. And we have four switch positions. Now in order to construct that, let's draw a table. You can always use this method if you are not sure about the color coding, which terminal belongs to which. This is the best method to go about it. Now let's put the different switch positions in one side and the color coding of these cables on another side. Here we have hazard off here we have hazard on. Here we have turn left. Here we have turn right. So these are the different switch positions. Now after naming the different switch positions, these are all the switch positions. Let's write colors of these wires. There are different colors. We have green, black, black, PLK. We have green, white. We have green, brown. We have green, yellow. We have green, blue, and finally, we have green. So these are the color codings taken from the different lines that belong to the hazard circuit. Now what we do is we turn on each switch and then we will decide the continuity. We will check the continuity between these lines. And then we will mark, once we mark it all the lines, then we can identify which line belongs to which circuit. Let's go and do that. We have the different colors, the different colors of the turn signal switch. Let's arrange them. Now the hazard switch is turned to off. This is the on position for hazard. Let's put it in off position and then what we do is we identify which lines among these, which lines have continuity on hazard off position. No continuity? Nothing? 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 Nothing. Now we have found continuity between green blue and pure green. So we have continuity between green, blue, and pure green. Let's keep on searching. 
this we have already written no continuity no continuity so when the hazard switch is off with the turn signal off and hazard switch is off we have continuity between this green line and green blue line let's turn the hazard switch to on position let's turn it on hazard switch on position now let's see if we have another continuity we have continuity between green and green brown we have continuity between green and green brown check all the wires make sure that you check all of them we have continuity between green white and green black green white green black green yellow is also added to this line and green yellow green yellow is also added here there is no continuity here we have already established continuity between these three lines now there is no continuity between these two okay now let's turn it to left turn hazard switch off back again let's turn off the hazard switch hazard switch is off let's turn this signal switch to say left turn now i put it in left turn let's find if there are any lines with continuity We all continuity between green and green blue. Green and green blue of continuity. We have continuity between green black and green white. Good. Now let's put this turn signal switch to right turn. Right turn. Then we'll check. Nothing. 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 We have continuity between green and green blue. We have continuity between green and green blue. We have continuity between green white and green yellow. Green white, this is green white, and uh, green yellow. So this is how you identify the continuity. Now, we have identified the continuity between each terminal.
When hazard switches off, we have continuity between green, blue, and green. When hazard is on, we have continuity between green, black, green, white, and green, yellow. When we have hazard on, we also have continuity between green, brown, and green. When the signal is on turn left, we have continuity between green, black, green, black, and green, white. We also have continuity between green, blue, and green as well. When the vehicle is turning right, we have continuity between green, white, and green, yellow. We also have continuity between green, blue, and green. Now, based on this diagram, based on this chart, we can identify lines which come from the ignition switch, line which comes from the battery, line which goes to the battery, and line which goes to the flasher light, and light with lines which go to the different electrical circuits. Now, let's do that. Now, look. When hazard switch is turned on, hazard is usually supplied from the battery, whereas turn signal is usually supplied from the ignition switch. So in order for hazard to be supplied from the battery, when hazard is turned on, there is a line that brings battery voltage to the circuit. Now, when hazard is turned on, we have continuity between these two lines. We also have continuity between the three lines. Now, what does a hazard do? When hazard switch is turned on, we will have illumination of all the blinker lights, the left and the right blinker lights. So, more probably, these three lines belong to the signal lights, whereas this line belongs to the power supply for the hazard wire. So, we have a line that is connecting power to the hazard circuit, it could either be this line coming from the battery, or it could either be this line that is coming from the battery. Now, how do we determine which line is coming from the battery? Then, in order to determine which one is coming from the battery, just go to the hazard off position. One will be out, and one will remain. When hazard is turned off, green is still, it remains in the continuity circuit, whereas the green-brown is disappearing from the continuity circuit. Then what can we conclude? The green-brown belongs to the battery line. So this line comes from the battery. It's an input from the battery. It's an input from the battery. Whereas when hazard is turned off, there has to be some power supply for the left and, turn, left and right turn signals. That is usually taken from the ignition switch. So this line, a line which comes when hazard is turned off, this is a line that comes from the ignition switch, IG terminal. Ignition IG. And finally, we have a green light that gives power to the flasher circuit. So this line, it goes to the flasher B terminal. It goes to the flasher B plus. And the rest, the rest is very simple. Now we have identified three of the wires. Now we are left with identifying the remaining wires. Now there is a line that is gone to the flasher. You know flashers, they have three terminals. This is a typical flasher. Flasher has three terminals. We have terminal B right here. We have terminal L and we have terminal E. Now what does a flasher do? When it is provided with a battery voltage, voltage coming from battery source will be supplied to battery, and then the E will be grounded. Then when these two conditions are fulfilled, when there is battery supply and when there is ground line, then it will release an intermittent signal from L. So we have previously said that this line is going to the flasher B+. plus. It comes here. And then there has to be a line that comes back from the flasher so that it will get distributed to the left and right turn signals. So how can we identify that? 
just by looking at the left and turn signal, identify their common terminal. So it seems green white is their common terminal because every time the signal lights are turned on, there is a green white involved. So this line, it is an input from the flasher. It comes from the flasher L. This is a line coming from flasher terminal L. Battery is applied, then intermittent signal will be supplied from the flasher to the green white line. When it is turning right, it will supply that to green yellow. So green yellow will be a line going to right blinkers. It goes to the right turn lamps, and when it is turned to left, the line that is coming from the flasher will be supplied to green-black. So green-black is going to left turn lamps. So this way you can, we are, now we have completely identified all the terminals. Let's repeat it again. We have six terminals. One line going to the battery flasher, line coming from the ignition switch so that it can power the turn signal lights, line going to the right signal switch blinkers, line coming from the battery so that it can operate the hazard circuit only even, even though the ignition switch is turned off. And finally, we have the light that is coming from the flasher and light going to the left signal lights. So this is how you can identify the different terminals of the hazard and turn signal switch lines. Now that we have identified the different lines, in another video, in our next video, we will show you how the connection is done. So that is all we have for you in this presentation. I hope you have clearly understood how the lines can be identified. Please stay tuned for more on how to do the construction of the entire circuit. And then we will see how this is connected and how it is operated. Till then, stay safe.